Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title and by on your screen, we're back on FIFA for another video. This is another different type of video on my channel. The last FIFA one I did, we was predicting the table. On this one, FIFA is going to predict the starting eleven for Barnsley, and I'm going to show you some of my predictions on the starting eleven. As you can see, all the new players are in. I transferred them all over. You, every single player, all the eight new players, the RB, Radlinger, I'm going to go through them all now, we've got Radlinger here, 6 foot 5, the Austrian keeper that we've just signed, and then we've got Pinilos, 6 foot, we've got a very big defensive back line, Diaby, 6 foot 2, new centre back we've signed, Jewel and Mads Jewel Anderson, 21 year old, 20, 6.4, 6 foot for Cavare, 6 foot for Brown, 5.11 for McGeehan, 5.10 for Mauer, 5.11 for Tiam, 6.5 for Moore, controversial off will be here next season, and 6 foot for Woodrow. Then you've got your players on your bench, you've got your Adabiegio who was here last season, Barre, Arambaru who's coming through the academy, Styles who are coming through the academy, Walton. Williams and Hame who we signed. I'm gonna go through a couple of them now. Hame six foot five, a very big centre back as well. And then you've got a couple of players on reserves, which I'm gonna sort out. Your players like Collins, Thomas, Civic that have all come through, Wilkes that we've also signed. I'm gonna arrange them to what I think they'll play, and then I'm gonna show you some other couple of formats of what we actually could play next season. So yeah. You got the competition between Radlinger and Collins, and FIFA does predict that Radlinger is going to start in net, which I could see that happening as Stendhal did come through Hanno with him. So we're going to put Collins on the bench. Sorry, Walton, you're probably going to get loaned out, or Greta X will get loaned out. We're going to put Thomas on the bench because they'll definitely be fighting for a starting 11 place. So will Malik Wilkes drop Adam Ejo to the reserve, in my opinion. Also, I've got to get Civic on the bench, a big defender. Um, Probably put him on for, um, I'm not sure. We'll get Green in the reserves. We'll keep Civic on the reserves as well, actually. We'll put him on the top line with Williams, Green, and Dougal. Because it's going to be hard. We've signed so many players. It's going to be hard for everyone to fight to get into that starting 11. So, yeah, you've got your players like Rambo, Bird, Fielding. I'm not sure if they're still here. Matty Wolf, Otim, Rhetorix, Adabedjo. I've also missed out with George Miller from Bradford, so I apologise about that. But we signed him last year, so I forgot about him. So we've got Collins on the bench over Radlinger. And you've got your likes so of Wilkes, Barre, Thomases, and all that on the bench. So I'm going to change formation and show you some other starting lineups that could be possible that I think would actually work for us. One of them that a lot of people have been talking about is a 4 3 3 with a base 3 centre mid. Um, I think I'm going to keep the, I'm going to put more on the, on the reserves on the bench as he is set to be leaving and we're not sure if he's going to be here next year so I'm going to make these teams without more. So we've got the normal back four, we're going to put Barry in the middle, probably put McGee in the middle even though Mowat is sometimes more defensive. I put McGee in automatically as a captain like he was against Staley Bridge so that's a good prediction by FIFA. You could play Wilkes out wide instead of Brown, you could put Thomas out wide. And you've got TM and Brown to mix in as well. You could swap the wingers. So there's quite a lot of options. Harme, Harm, whatever his name is, could go at centre back instead of Anderson or instead of Diabe. Williams could cover for Cavare or for Pinlios. So there's quite a lot of mixture you can get in there. So put Cavare back in there. Also, Styles can slot anywhere in that midfield. He can attack, he defend, he can play make. Tion can go out wide, and then if Woodrow somehow injured, Wilkes can always play at front, because Wilkes is very versatile, and can play up top and out wide. Also, you got Green to play out wide, so that's more options. There we go, we've got Styles in the middle. And we could also play Collins in net, if Radlinger gets injured or isn't up to standard. you also got Civic as a sub-centre-back as well, and he can also play at full-back. And you got Dougal that can fill in for McGeehan or Mauer. So there's a lot of options in this team, if you look at it realistically, guys. But that's a 4-3-3 that I think Barnsley could possibly play next year. We're going to go into another formation, which is a 4... What formation is it? I'll go back to a 4-4-2. 
and see what other options we can get for this. So we're going to see what we can mix up in the 4 4 2. We'll put Woodrow up front. I think we're going to keep. We're going to put Moore back up top for now. We'll put Diaby back in. And put McGee in. Let's get back to the base that we started with, in my opinion. Wilkes will be on the bench, in my opinion, as well. Brown out wide. Green back on the reserves. So let's see what we can do with this. You've got your likes of Thomas and your Bares that can easily come on and make an impact, but. It's really down to Stendhal what he's going to start, because I'm not sure what teams he's going to actually start with. So put Radlinger back in net, but have a look at some of the ages. Diave's only 21 and young, and Anderson's only 21 and young. So we've got a big centre-back partnership and a young centre-back partnership, and the both of their style are going to play right or left centre-back. More, like I said, we don't know if he's leaving. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, it's not looking promising. But we're going to try another formation and see what we can get from this. A 4 2 3 1. I'm going to drop more to the reserves, like I say, once again, because we don't know if he's going to be here or not. Put Green on the bench instead. So Wilkes can easily play behind the striker, behind Woodrow. Or Wilkes can play up top with Woodrow. Very versatile, like I've already said. You've got Thomas who can come on behind the striker as well. He can play central. Or Brown can go behind the striker and Thomas can play at right. Or you can even put Barre. Or style behind the striker, so there's so many options for the signings that we've made. Um, he's gonna see what we can make from a three at the back formation, as I think we could actually do some damage with three at the back with our three massive centre backs. So I'm gonna keep rattling you in there, I'm gonna obviously keep Mads Anderson and Diaby, then we're gonna bring Harm in, Harm, Harm, I don't know how to say his name. So three big centre backs, I'll probably put Anderson at central centre back. We keep Mauer and McGeehan as the central midfielders. And then you've got the mixtures of the wingers and the cams. So easily put Malik's Malik Wilkes behind the striker, or we can play up front with Woodrow. Thomas can go behind the striker while Brown goes back on the right. I know I'm repeating myself a lot the guys, but I'm just showing you how many options there really is for this team. This is the three at the back formation. Your green on the bench that can come on, Styles and Barre that can go behind the striker, or Barre can play out wide as we saw a couple of times last season, which was great. This team's so versatile. If it's going to work as versatile as it's looking, that's another question. But we'll have to wait and see next season. Let me know your starting team down in the comments. Will it be Harme and Anderson? Will it be Anderson? And Diaby, or will Simic even start? Will it be Cavare and Pinyanos at full backs once again? I'm not too sure. Let me know your thoughts. My starting lineup, like I'm going to show you in a minute, would be Radlinger in net with Cavare and Pinyanos. It would be Anderson and Diaby at centre backs. Mo McGeehan in centre mids. I'd start with Brown and Tiam like we used to, and obviously we'll drill, and hopefully more up front if we still got him. If not, I just go for it and put Wilkes up there. But if we do sell more, we do let more go. We are meant to be bringing another striker in, which, as you can see on the bench, we don't have a substitute striker because Wilkes is actually classed as the winger. Yes, he can play up front, but we still need we still need another striker if we keep more, in my opinion. So there's a lot of competition to get on the substitute bench. Never mind to get in the starting. Starting 11. So yeah, you got Mallet and McGee in the middle. Mallet usually does more than defending like he did last year. But like I said on FIFA, both of them can play CDM. We're going to look at some of the ages now. 24, 21, 21, Pinios 26, which I do believe is the oldest in the squad. 24 for TM, 24 for McGee, 24 for Mallet, 21 for Brown, 26 for Moore and 24 for Woodrow. So it's a very young team. You've got 20, 19, 23, 20 for Thomas, 22 for Collins, 19 for Williams and 21 for Harme and it's young all across the reserves as well. So we've got such a young, big and exciting squad. A lot of people were saying we haven't actually signed an experienced centre-back because Harme hasn't played many games for Leeds. Anderson's played bits here and there in Denmark and Diaby has not played that much either. So some people are complaining about not getting the experience in which I can see. But there's a, there's a lot of options to explore with. So, yeah. As you can see on your screen, that will be my starting 11 if we keep all the players we've got now. Let me know your starting 11 in the comments. And let me know who else you think we should sign. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. Um, so, yeah. If you are new, 
please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Come on, you Reds.